I'd say really a couple of things about why we do what we do at Murdoch. It's really uh, not about Murdoch. We understand that we have the opportunity to be a catalyst for nurturing and building more healthy individuals, more healthy families, and more healthy communities. Grants are one way that we're able to help organizations. Though most people don't realize that our grants are the culmination of a whole series of things that we hope help the organization. That's really where the enrichment programs have grown from. By enrichment, uh, what we're talking about are really three major groupings of programs. The programs are around the areas of capacity building, where we do essentials of development and the board development. And then in Christian leadership, we do the vision and call intern program. We do the leadership conference. We do the women in leadership program. The third area is in science, education, and research, where we do partners in science, and the Murdoch College Science Program. In the beginning, the whole concept was that old saying, which is better, to give a person a fish or teach them how to fish? And that's been the premise all along, to bring them in and equip them with the basic tools to raise the resources that they need to carry out their mission. If you aim at nothing, you're gonna hit it every time. And so Essentials has really given us a plan. Um, how to do development, how to do the work, what does all of those things look like? It has really given our organization that strategy. The Essentials in Development program really accelerated our growth and expansion. The value the Essentials in Development program has brought to organization is giving us a very clear path for how we raise money and how we talk to our donors, and it's all with one voice. One would be the long-term goal of the organizations are, are no longer driven by budget, in crisis, but where they're driven by vision. The Trust's heart would be that we would hope every nonprofit flourishes and greatly fulfills its mission. But the key to that is a healthy board. Why do organizations need healthy boards? Because they are so critical to the future of the organization. As the board goes, so goes the organization. Most boards in, in nonprofit ministries are just running so hard and fast on the immediate. The number one gift you can give to them is perspective. The value for us in being a part of the pilot project was that we walked through it with our board chairman. As a result, our board complexion changed, the way that our board function has changed, um, primarily out of the space that the Murdoch Trust created for us. In the beginning, uh, Warren Beach Camp's board went through the board leadership training that the Murdoch Trust is offering. Fantastic experience for us. We came into it with a good foundation, but we came out of it with a really great trajectory, a really great path to build on. We have these huge dreams and we want to be young and aggressive, but at the same time we recognize that in order to see those dreams come to pass, we have to think through structure and rhythm and stability in order to grow in ways that are healthy. An investment in leaders has a ripple effect into organizations. Being a native of the Northwest, it's been amazing to be welcomed into the Murdoch Trust leadership circle, so to speak, and to see a lot of the organizations that have influenced me and have allowed me to understand my role as a, as a Christian and how we're called to love this world. It gives us a time to find, just to listen and learn because we are constantly teaching others. Here, we, we leave aside our leadership uh, accountabilities and we are here, frankly, as, uh, as learners. Leaders are the ones who educate. Leaders are the ones who help people understand how they actually will navigate the world that they find themselves in. Uh, so it's great to sort of be in a place where we're talking about cultural narratives with the perspective of how do you then lead. Uh, in the midst of these things. Knowing that Murdoch cares about our development as leaders, it's just been really helpful because I think they bring in resources that we don't necessarily have access to. Leaders deal with the crisis du jour. 
And so the fact of the matter is they need to be given an opportunity to step back and to give, uh, have a large landscape. And what this conference is doing is providing the horizon uh, so they can actually look over the horizon and provide the kind of leadership that their institution will need as they move forward in the next 10 to 20 years. What Murdoch is doing is equipping today's leaders with the questions that they have to grow up with so they'll be effective tomorrow. They're making a bet into the future. They're embedding that if they invest in today's leaders, uh, the institutions that they're working with will actually be effective not just a year from now or two years from now, but 10 years from now. The context of the program uh, started really about 10 years ago when we began to listen to people through our proposal process at the Trust who were struggling with finding quality entry-level people into their organizations. What we discovered is that many organizations had really lost a commitment to a really quality internship program. Why this program called Vision and Call is so important is it gives organization this incredible chance to understand, to recognize, to admit that the future lies in young people. Um, it gave me a lot of practical experience um, in the workplace that while my education prepared me for could never have actually given me. Being a part of Vision and Call has been one of the most transformative pieces of my life thus far. Being a Vision and Call intern, it presents you with a capital that's so different than any other kind of capital. To have experience is like invaluable and um, I think a lot of people kind of undermine that because they think so much about going to school and doing all these different things and then when they get into their job or they get into the workplace it's way different than what they expected or what they thought it was going to be. Vision and Call is such a great opportunity to get to really know what it's like and to get to really see what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. We need to pass on to the next generation um, what we do, the passion, uh, the whys of what we do, not just how to do it, why we do what we do. That's what's important. We've got to pass on what we know so that it can be taught. The future is upon us, and it's young people who are going to influence the future of our organizations as we think 30 and 40 years down the road. In Christian circles, it was largely uh, male-dominated. So initially, it really was just a chance to get together, and we did a lot of praying. But over the years, this group has grown to the point of being a focus for the Murdoch Trust. I think the reason it's so important to invest in women in leadership roles is because not a lot of people are doing it. And so to know that my leadership is valued by other leaders who have gone before is really encouraging. What a woman would gain from attending a leadership uh, program here is she would certainly learn a lot about herself. I feel like the Murdoch Trust has invested in my life in a way that has really carried me forward. It's gathering together women who are seeking to follow the Lord in their various callings around the Northwest and making a unique impact as women. I sit in a table with women that are my own age, uh, women that are a decade ahead or a couple, and so you have all different walks of life. I can say that I, I'm a better leader of leaders because I have the opportunity to attend. The real vision for Partners in Science grew out of staff and trustees who really knew that science, technology, engineering, math, those disciplines had to be cultivated for all the advances that were going to be made in our culture. To build the ecosystem, one of the weakest places, weak links, was at the high school science level. Teachers don't really have access to research experiences, by and large. Teachers are going in and teaching something that they never experienced. Just think about that for a second, right? You're teaching a subject that you never actually did. How in the world can you actually do that? And it gives them a, an opportunity to do two summers of research within a real uh, science research institution, such as a major university or research facility. I've been teaching for 25 years, and this has probably been the most impactful three years um, of my career. Partners in Science has actually been the best professional development opportunity I've had. I have tools now to guide my students in research.
I am much more confident than I used to be. This year marks our 500th partnership between a teacher and a researcher, and I've had a couple of teachers tell me that they were on the verge of retirement until they participated in the Partners in Science program, and it reinvigorated and revitalized their teaching. The Murdoch College Science Research Program, MCSRP, is a program that was started back in 1991 by the Murdoch Trust. The idea is, is to uh, provide support for, uh, for private liberal arts colleges who have established research programs to help them cement their research culture so that they can provide more research opportunities for students and faculty. We really believe strongly that to teach science, you do science. It is better to teach someone the scientific process by walking them through that and have them do that and discover that as opposed to reading it in a book or hearing it in a lecture. I am like one of few of my friends that has actually worked in a research lab for consecutive years. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to start doing research after my freshman year of college. I don't think that's a very common thing at a lot of schools or I'll say that to people and be like, wow, as a freshman? And it was just such a cool thing to be able to do and be involved in and it gives me a better idea of what I want to do later having had these opportunities so early. We're here at the Murdoch Undergraduate Research Conference and I have just been really impressed with all of the students that I have seen so far. This is an opportunity that I think a lot of people don't get until they go to graduate school. It's quite a unique uh, conference. There's really nothing like this anywhere in the United States. A little bit about the research that I'm doing. I am helping to study the effects of antipsychotics on sleep. I've always known that I, I've wanted to, to help people and be of service to people, but by doing research you're really at the core of it, at the, the, the forefront of these new discoveries, um, and that's kind of the, the most direct way to impact people's lives. The first conference that was held back in the early 90s, there was probably about 40 or so attendees. Now, the number of attendees, we're expecting about 500 this year, and the number will continue to grow. The trust has been around about 40 years. As we do our work, one of the things that we get excited about is that as the challenges of our culture increase, so do the opportunities to leverage change for the good. And by doing so, we have to build partnerships and collaborations that help people to work together to make a difference and to weave that fabric of a healthy and verdant culture.